So we have made it to Colorado. We'll be at a camp probably close to uh, probably 8 30 tonight. Have some time to scout, get some tags tomorrow, get her done. We're at Lovelace doing last minute pee. Getting it done. I'm gonna slay some giants. Homeboy Jason over there. Slay some freaking giants, baby. Gotta get her done. All right, stay with me. It is official. We are here. It's 9,200 feet. Finally made it. And you can feel the elevation, like the, the angle is crazy. Let me see if I can show you what we're looking at. That is wild. Couple of flatlanders, baby. We're about to get her done. So it's like, it's like 9 a.m. That's a turkey? And uh, I was just seeing our two first two cows and uh, two mule deer. So. Yeah, possibly a bull. I saw it with horns. So. so. <laughs> Yeah, you just keep it going and see what we do. Yeah, it's, uh, it's high. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Hey, yeah. the trail here to the left and then to the right. There's one to the right. I don't know if you Here, this is, let me put the camera at the angle. That's what my camera's like. Where are you going? This way. Can you go left? No. No, we'll go right because there's really? a there's a big tree right there. We'll never make it over that one. Okay. So. So you want to go right? Yeah, we'll go this way. All right. Let's see if I can show you. What we're doing here. Put this up for a second. So, yeah, we're getting there. Yeah. There's a flat spot right here by this tree in the shade. Let's take our packs off for a minute. Let's see, okay. I look up here, and it's the same thing up there, but it is down here. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so. A lot of mule deer signs. I think we're in a burn. It opens up big right here. I think we're in one blast. All right, yeah, we're in a burn now, so. Come here, follow me. Yeah.
say all these videos they don't show you all the hard ass crap it's fucking hard it's real hard it's hard the videos like to edit out this part that's why we're here to show you the real deal it's hard it's hard this is what 40 degrees probably it's about 50 degrees 55 degrees but we're what 20 10,200? Yeah. 10,2? So here's the angle that you, you see. It looks flat, but like that. But that's pretty much what the camera looks like. The side hill in the whole way. We're in a burn, too. So interesting. All right, let me see. Let's see if, see if I can show you where our, where our truck is. Are you recording? Yeah. Trucks are. Trucks are right over uh, here, yeah. right over my head here. Probably what, three miles down? About three miles down, yeah. <sighs> three miles down. Oh, goodness. We're going to sit down, I get some more coffee and eat breakfast. Glass this area over here. Yeah, we're going to. So at the bottom of that drainage is the opening, a little basin, and we're going to just sit yeah, down for a minute. <sighs> Stay with me, baby. All right, so day one, got some coffee. Brian made biscuits and gravy, and uh, we're just chilling. Biscuits and gravy out here ain't a bit bad. No, no, it's not bad at all. I guarantee you, someone's gonna uh, buy any weenies and crackers. Just... Yeah, wishing they had biscuits and gravy. <clears throat> Yeah, maybe next time we'll have a better camp spot without running water, without half decent flat spots and you know a view and. <clears throat> Welcome to Colorado. So this is pretty much what we're doing. Uh, had some advice from a game warden, so that's what we're doing. Probably for a few hours. Well, at that point, I'm in the sun. Smart motherfuckers are behind me in the shade. So that's about what we're doing today. It's a hot one. This is my view, though. So it's just a, because if I bring a spotting scope, I still have to bring my camera. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, a spotter does not uh, replace. The 15 system. might replace the spotter. Yeah, so. I just have to look at the spot. So what we're doing today. <clears throat> so. Let's see if I can show you what I'm looking at. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So, if I see anything, you'll see something. That was close.
There's the deer bed. All right, so, so far going on, what is this? Day two of using this Swiss tech. Uh, it's not too bad. It's been working. It's supposed to be waterproof, dustproof, and a little uh, dustproof case, kind of like an otter box covering. So far it's been working. My buddy Jason's been using it for about, I don't know, going on two days, I think. got an anchor but it's uh, charging so I'll keep trying it out see if it's any good <sighs> nothing over there in that meadow about 9,800 feet. Real thick down there. There's a creek that runs through. It goes down here, goes down, and it splits off up there, down, and then up there, and then down. Hits that creek that goes all the way down. Actually goes all the way to our camp, so it's kind of nice. And these these bees, dude, and flies, like a bee fly. That thing is large. Look at that thing. It's a fly. He's so huge. As big as the bees out here. Gonna keep the grind on, keep the grind on. Goodness.
I'd say about a, about 98, 96, 9,800 feet right now. Way up here. Completely nothing. It's probably about to rain over me. The storm looks wicked. I'm gonna tell you right now, blow down is hard. But I mean, there's scat all over the place. It's a tough one. I'll tell you what, it only takes one. Just that one. <clears throat> September, baby. You just gotta keep calling. See if you can get them coming. Whew. Now, let's see if we can get down to the trail and get out of here before either that storm hits me or it gets too dark. All right, guys. All right, guys. I hope y'all liked the video. Uh, we weren't successful as far as harvesting, but uh, then we were successful to say that we did it. Um, the mountain didn't conquer us, and it was well worth it. I can say that uh, anything under 11,000 feet is a uh, hogwash, right? So we got it. Um, I will tell you that we do have uh, a little bit of surprise going into November. I'm going to go back and see if we can get us a cow and a bull. Probably gonna get a bear tag too, so hopefully we can get us a big old sloth. So that'd be awesome. Um, until next time, gonna be a lot of whitetail hunts coming up till November, and then so on. Hopefully, beginning of January, that'll change into something different. But until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Hit that like, subscribe button on Spine Up Outdoors. Support us on Facebook and Instagram, and we try to get as much content to you as possible. I appreciate it, guys. Shoot straight. Good luck this season.